Deep down in us, we find what makes us function, what makes us human, our proteins. And now, we see them like we have never seen them before. The brain controls virtually everything required for being human, and therefore it is of utmost importance to protect. Any invaders could cause massive damage. That's why the brain has its own protection system, the blood-brain barrier, with two very cell types involved, astrocytes and endothelial cells. This is the brain's border control. Within the Human Protein Atlas project, researchers are mapping out all of the different proteins in the human body. Thanks to this, researchers can now go to the HBA Open Access webpage to study proteins and see exactly in which cells they are located. And now, this research is taken even one step further. The researchers within the HPA are now mapping out the proteins in 3D. With the help of a new microscope, they can create micro-universes of the proteins in our body. This makes it possible for Evelina Schoerstedt to voyage through the brain to study the cells and proteins involved in the brain's protection system. In the whole body, you have blood vessels, and blood vessel with the blood transport nutrition and oxygen throughout the whole body. We also have blood vessels in the brain. But since the brain is very precious, we don't want any harmful chemicals inside the brain or bacteria or virus. So then in the brain, we have a specific blood-brain barrier that protects us. And the blood-brain barrier is made up from several features and cell types, but two very important cell types are the endothelial cells and the astrocytes. In this movie, we can see the endothelial cells in red. We can see the blood vessels branching out in the brain. And in green, we can see the star-shaped astrocytes. The endothelial cells in red line the inside of the blood vessels in a thin layer of filtrating and guarding cells and will not let anything pass aside from gases like oxygen and very small or fat-soluble molecules. The astrocytes are star-shaped cells in the brain. They do many things such as recycling and transporting neurotransmitters back to the neuron, helping to clean up after signaling between neurons. Astrocytes are also an important part of the blood-brain barrier. The ends of their branches, so-called end feet, are attached to the blood vessels as a support. So these cells together helps to keep the brain safe. So no uninvited guests can enter uh, and harmful chemicals are not entering the brain. And this is good, this is what keeps us healthy. However, this might be a problem because the thing that makes us safe and healthy also prevents us from being cured because you have to design drugs that are able to pass through the barrier. So it needs to be really small to pass through the barrier or transported by something that is able to cross. And, and this is a very difficult quest. For example, many of the chemotherapy drugs that effectively kill tumors in the peripheral organs are unable to penetrate the brain to attack brain tumors because of the blood-brain barrier. By seeing these cells in 3D, we hope to learn more about the cells and the function, how they're related to each other and the structure in space, because we need to understand the blood-brain barrier to be able to make drugs that are able to pass through the barrier. And if the drugs are able to pass through, they can find the disease and hopefully cure the patient. When we explore the world in new ways, we discover new things about us, about life itself. And now we see our proteins like we've never seen them before.